fact, I don't think there's much existential security in being someone who goes in a boat on the waters of, no. of around around Britain and someone in a, a lifeboat. A, it, it's in the name. It's written in the name. It's a lifeboat. It yeah. saves lives. Going, oh, where are you from? You don't look like you're from round here. Maybe we'll let you drown. I no, mean, but like, literally, on, how are we implementing it? It's nonsense. That's not the alternative. Once again, we're talking about tents in London parks and we're talking about letting people drown in the English no, Channel. No, well, well, the, the, the metaphorical ship has already sailed. You've already got a problem at that point. So they shouldn't be in small boats in the Channel because it should have been dealt with so already. That people can and be people treated with fairly that and be, their lives black, preserved. Blackmail society, because saying that unless you do what we tell you, people don't get drowned. Because that's what we're talking about, kind of moral blackmail. But essentially what we're saying is that you, people living in Kent, have got to put up with this and uh, live in an insecure existence because the alternative to that is that people will die. No, why don't we say well, to the Home Office and to the Home Secretary, you have a job to defend our borders to provide asylum to genuine asylum seekers and to make sure that people who are volunteers, they stop their everyday lives in order to go and rescue people at sea, are not put in a position where they cannot win because they are literally aware that every call out, they might watch 30 people drown at sea. Yeah. But everyone... That is just intolerable. Every single person uh, has the same objective, I think, which is that this needs to stop. There's a variety of reasons why it needs to stop, whether it's people's safety, whether it's expenses at this end, whatever it is, is that everyone's got the same objective that this needs to stop. But there are a variety of links in this chain when you start right at the beginning, and it's such a slick operation now. You go on TikTok, there's traffickers that are almost using it as a travel brochure. They're using TikTok as a way of recruiting customers. It's going to sound really crass, but this is what they're doing. It's a huge industry now. And they know they've got it all timed out to the, all the component parts. Right, All I've got to do is you're not going to cross the channel. I'm not sending you across the channel. I'm literally sending you to English waters. And the second you get into English waters, you will be collected. This is like a whole chain now that's operating in the slick thing. So there has to be looking, you have to be looking at each element of this chain going, right, how do we try and de-incentivize, uh, break each link of this chain to stop people getting on these boats in the first place? Because to me, the whole thing is broken at every single component part of that chain. But all I think you need to get France, first of all, to <coughs> take these borders more seriously. Mm. At the moment, France is an accomplice, along with, as it happens, the Home Office, because they are, you know, they know exactly what the game is. The game is to pretend to be stopping um, immigrants, but at the same time, they know that it's not going to happen unless there's greater resolution to the... To £80 the million, pounds, by the way, we've spent, uh, that Paying we've given French. to French over yeah. the last two years. I don't Hang I don't, on, wait, I don't I've got to pick what... you up. I mean, if you want to call it a game, fine, but it's not about stopping immigrants, it's about protecting borders. But that's what, because that's stopping that's what they're doing. Is, is some kind of catch-all term that feeds into racist ideologies that aren't helpful in this it, space. It, it does, but it seems to me that uh, borders are borders. So either we control the borders or they become a metaphor, that, a meaningless metaphor that's completely diffused. So, and, and sure, control the border, but yes. that isn't about stopping immigrants. No, it, if you control well, the border... what's it about then, controlling a border? What, what do you think controlling a border is? Well, what about the immigrants you want? Yeah. What well, about the yeah. asylum seekers but, who but, have a right to come? But hang on, because if you're controlling your border, yeah. then you have the system. So you have, whether it's passport control, visa systems, mm -hmm. so that is part of controlling your border. So surely stopping um, illegal immigration is part of that. Yes, and but that's not what Frank said. No, I, I, what Frank said exactly is that when you control your border, then you get to decide who comes in and who doesn't. Yeah. And I think that we have a, we have a, a responsibility to enforce that.